Hey everybody, welcome to my new video. In this, I'm gonna be building a walnut dining table. Um, the design elements of this are, are gonna be pretty modern, pretty minimal. Um, it's actually one of the first kind of larger uh, jobs that I've gotten through an interior designer, and so I kind of wanted to document the process. Um, the tabletop is gonna be made out of solid walnut, uh, six foot by six foot, and then the base is gonna be more of a pedestal base, uh, and I'm gonna use uh, walnut plywood for that. The top gets a, a radius at the corners, and I kind of wanted to match that design element with the base. So to achieve that, I'm going to put solid, solid walnut on each corner of the square base, uh, and then afterwards go back and give it a half inch round over, just so it kind of you know gives a cohesive kind of roundness to an otherwise you know sharp and angular piece of furniture. solid wood at the corners also actually ends up ended up making my life a little bit easier anyway just for the glue up um, instead of trying to fight and miter the corners of this base you know I just I just fastened solid walnut strips to each end and then just glued it on uh, using biscuits it's a pretty pretty efficient way to do it I think what wasn't efficient was rounding over the walnut corners before I glued it up I didn't really think about it, but I lost some some bearing surface uh, for my clamps, and that kind of it made it just a little bit more difficult to glue it up. Yeah, I really could have used that nice sharp corner right there, gluing it up. It kind of made it made it hard. After the glue dried, I went ahead and put some corner bracing in inside of the uh, inside of the base. And you'll also notice edge banding's not on two sides. And I let, I did that intentionally because I'm going to put some aluminum angle um, on top of that, and that's what's actually going to fasten the base to the tabletop. Now I'm switching gears back to the tabletop, and I'm actually I'm making this during the pandemic shutdown. Uh, it made it a little bit more difficult to source material, but I was lucky enough to eventually find a, uh, a lumber yard that would allow me to come in and select the boards that I want. And, you know, the, t the tabletop is six foot by six foot, so it's just a lot of milling. I spent a lot of time milling this down. And now you can see I, I spent a lot of time kind of figuring out where each board was gonna go and just kind of laying it out. Since it is so big, I want to make sure that I take my time edge joining everything. And so I use a technique where I rotate the inside and outside faces of each jointed edge against my joiner fence. And that allows any discrepancy in, at 90 degrees against the fence to be essentially canceled out. And then to take this process a step further, I use my joiner plane to, to remove any machine marks. And that really just allows the, the joints to come together that much easier. You know, I really 
don't want to introduce any sort of tension uh, into the tabletop when it comes to glue up. And so if I can mate opposing boards together as perfectly as possible, that really gives me the best chance I have of keeping the entire tabletop flat. When the, when the joints come together with little to no pressure, uh, I know I've got it. To glue up the tabletop, I did it in sections, uh, really just to make it easy, you know, so I would glue like three or four boards up at a time. And then after that initial glue up, I went ahead and then glued up those sections together uh, for the final glue up. This whole process actually went pretty well. I, it, it, this is the biggest tabletop I've ever glued up. And you know, taking my time with the, with the edge joining and everything really, I think, made this a successful glue up just because I, I, everything stayed flat. I was actually really surprised and definitely breathed a sigh of relief when I took the clamps off and it was just pretty, as, as flat as I could hope. You know, a little bit of, you know, warpage, but you know what, it's, I think it's good, man. After I took the clamps off, you know, it was time to, to sand everything down. I did a couple passes on each side with the belt sander and then followed that up with my orbital sander. To fill any knots or kind of random voids in the tabletop, I'm, I'm using this new product. It's like a super glue. Uh, I don't know. I built it up over time and ended up filling any 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 voids. It seemed to work pretty well. I was happy with it. There was one pretty large knot I had to deal with, and so I, just, I dutched it in a, a, a patch and you know roughed it out with my router, and then came back with my chisel and you know followed my my uh, my knife wall and it, you know success
until the top also does get a radius in the corners. I made up a template so that each corner would be the same, and I, you know, clamped that down to the tabletop, followed that up with a router and a pattern bit, and uh, made quick work of the corners. And then to finish it off, I put an eighth inch round over on the edges. All right, back to the base. I'm just gonna install the feet, the adjustable feet. And I, I chose to do this just because I, I wanted to make sure that any discrepancy in the floor was gonna be taken care of by the four points that the feet contact the floor with instead of just letting this really wide, large base you know, rest on the floor and potentially rock back and forth. It's pretty much inevitable that, you know, your work is going to get dented or kind of burnished at some point. And so a good trick to remove any dents in your in your work is to just wet a, wet a piece of cloth and use an iron around the dented area. And that ends up, you know, sucking the fibers back to where they were originally and it removes any dents. It's pretty, it's pretty slick. And then to fasten the base and the top together, I'm using eighth inch uh, aluminum angle. And I chose aluminum because, you know, it's not really adding any structure. It's really just there to, to hold everything kind of together. And also aluminum because it's easy to work with. You know, I've got to make some slots in it for wood movement and I've also got to cut it up and drill it out. So I, I really didn't want to use like iron. That would, that would just be too much of a bear for my shop. I fastened the angle to the base with threaded inserts and machine screws. And since since I'm drilling into the three quarter inch plywood, I really wanted to make sure I didn't drill through it. So I used a positive stop just to really, you know, guarantee that my drill bit is not going through the other side. For this build, the designer really didn't want to see any aprons underneath the tabletop, and so I had to figure out a way to really keep the top flat, really prevent it from potato chipping. And so I bought these uh, quarter inch U-channel from Concept 13. I mortised them into the top about a half inch. The top's about an inch and an eighth, so I, I thought that was enough to really hold it down, but not too deep to where I really compromised the strength of the top. Once they're set in their slots, I used a center punch to locate the threaded inserts that I'm going to be using to fasten the channel to the table. And yeah, I didn't order enough initially, so um, you know, you see fewer fasteners than our slots, and don't worry, I, I went back and added more. So I don't actually do this for a living. Uh, I kind of moonlight as a furniture maker. And uh, you know, when, when a project comes along, I, I really jump on the opportunity. And I'm also lucky enough to have the shop located on the first floor of the building that I 
work out of. You know, I work for my stepdad and he he came down and, and gave me a hand lifting the base onto the top so that I could locate the fasteners uh, for, for attaching everything. All right, and the moment I've been waiting for like a month and a half or so, uh, putting the finish on. I'm using General Finishes Armor Seal. Uh, I put like three or four coats on, on top. Uh, pretty light uh, final coat, but you know, I, I love this finish. It's really easy to apply, and I, I, you know, it's, I've never had any problem with it. Um, and it really brings out the rich, deep colors of the walnut. So I'm finally able to actually put everything together. I haven't been able to put the top or the base together yet just because it's just so large. I haven't really, you know, I'm, I'm a one-man shop. I can't lift everything on my own. So it's really satisfying to get to this moment and, uh, you know, give it a test run. You know, the, the top is about 30 inches high and, you know, pretty standard for, uh, for a dining table height. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to delivering it. So, you know, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Take care. Thank you.